Okay, I think I'm live now. Let me check, bring up the, yeah, I'm live. Okay, hi guys, welcome. Tonight we are going to be doing some jelly plating. So, I dig out my jelly plate, I've got paints, i got different papers. So I'm just going to do some jelly printing and have some fun. So welcome, and welcome to those that are watching the replay. So I just have a bunch of different colored paints, and I'm just going to do some little bits of paint on the jelly plate. I just want some pretty painty papers. So I'm just putting paint down. I'm just Okay, that one is empty. Let's get a different color. And here's another pink. It's a darker pink. I hope everyone is having a good weekend. So... I have my brayer. I want to do some. I might have put too much paint. That's okay. I want to do a couple of journals and I want some pa painty papers. So I have some rubber stamps. I'm just going to stamp some stamps. We have a water jug. And we have some squirrelies, just foam stamps. So I'm just going anywhere and putting it down. I have some other papers beside me to stamp off on. Now I'm going to do the water jug. Hi, Lord Sphinx. Okay. So we're going to grab a piece of paper. I also have some text paper that I'm going to be using. Music sheets. All different paper. So I'm just going to lay this down. I'm going to run my roller over the scrap paper. There we go. I clean it off. I cleaned it off. Hopefully you can hear me. So there's the one side. I'm going to let this side dry. And then we'll do the back sides. I have another paper here. I'm 
and I'm just picking it up. Okay. So that one I'm setting off to the side and we're going to do a different colors. Some silver, let's do some silver. And we're going to do some green. So we've been under lockdown, so all the stores have been closed, which have not been fun, but they're supposed to reopen tomorrow. I'm looking forward to that. Okay, so we have other stamps that I'm going to be using. I have some envelopes I'm going to do and different things. Now these ones came from the dollar store. So it has a little handle and this is what they look like here. Just little foam stamps and you just put it onto your handle and then just stamp down. And this is butterflies that I'm putting down. Just turning it a little, making it go all different directions. Take that one off. I'll wipe it in a second. I have some flower, a flower one here. I'm just going to stick that on and stamp. Don't forget my edges. Okay, I'm going to wipe that off and clean it. I'm going to wipe this one off and clean it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I've got a piece of paper, just laying it down. And I just want some pretty papers. Some painty papers just for a journal. So that's what this one looks like. The green is really bright, which is perfect for summer. The silver is pretty. some book page here so I'm going to do that lay it down press lightly and it's picking up the old colors which is good so it's having lots of colors Perfect. Put 
Yes, I just dropped a bunch of paper. And my niece is here, so she'll probably pick it up for me and help me. So I have some music paper I want to do. I'm just going to clean off the jelly plate a little with this paper. Now I'm going to put white on here. Okay, let's try a different way. What a big white. Here it is. I need to shake it up. I haven't used these paints in a while. We're going to try to clean up the jelly plate. Just putting a thin layer of white on here. Someone had suggested this to me. Because the last time I did the jelly plate, I ended up, I needed more paint, I ended up just using Lysol wipes to clean the jelly plate off. And they suggested to put a thin layer of white and then it would pick up some of the color that's left behind. So that's what I'm doing. I have some printer paper here. So I put that down. I hope everyone is having a good weekend. I see lots of people are here. Don't be shy, say hello. Okay, let's see what we pick up. Oh, that's pretty. So we got all the leftover paints picked up there. We're going to do another paper on this side. mom how are you okay so we just cleaned off the jelly plate so we're gonna try new colors I have blue so let's do blue Can you hear me just fine? Well, if you can't hear me, I'll speak up. But I need you to tell me. I have some gold, so we're going to do some blue and gold. We're just going to craft. The blue paint is a little bit thicker than the gold because it's a little older. Just making a mess and having fun crafting. That's all we're doing. Let me run this off on my running paper. There we go. We're going to get more stamps. So 
So we have one with a heart on it. Just stamping it. Anywhere. You just want to make marks on your paper. I'm just cleaning off my stamps as I go so it's not so hard to clean at the end. I have another little flower that I'm going to use. Sorry if the table's shaking. Okay. Let's see if we could find one more. Let's do random squares. We're going to get some paper. Just put it down. I hope everyone's having fun this summer. There's something fun planned. Okay, so that's what this one looks like. Really, really pretty. You can see the hearts and the flowers. There you go. Yeah. So then we'll grab the next paper and get the side here. And the goal is just to make pretty paper. So that's pretty. Let that dry off to the side. Off to the side, let that one dry. We need some different colors. Let's try, I have red and let's try a blue, a lighter blue. This one is a metallic blue. It's not even open, so I'm going to open it. Hi, Jessica. I just noticed you were in chat there. Okay, and I have this little tube of red. I'm going to use this one. That came out quite a bit. Let's move a little over. Okay. I'm sorry I haven't had a video up all week. Things got a little crazy. Last night I wanted to go live, but I was down at my mom's and she was sitting on her front porch and we had a whole family of possums out there, a mama and five babies. So we had to take them. We had to relocate those ones. <laughs> So that was kind of scary. They were under her porch. So we had to relocate those little guys. 
But they're all together. We relocated them all together, so they're good. Okay. So, we're going to do some more stamping. I have the flower again. Let's do the flower. Just like that. If I get quiet, it's just because I'm crafting. I do that sometimes. I don't always want to hear my own voice talking, talking, talking. Sometimes just crafting. I'm just going through the stamps. I have like a bag of stamps here. And I'm just going through and seeing what we want to put on there. We're not sure what this one is. Oh, it's a rhino. Let's see. There's a little chickadee. We'll do the little chickadee. And it really doesn't matter which direction the chickadee is. We're just trying to make marks on the paper and have pretty papers. That's all I'm trying to do. So, it took a couple of hours to get that whole thing sorted out with the possums. And then we had to re-block, we had to re-put wood back up to block the pathway so they couldn't come back. Hopefully they don't come back. They're scary. Right, I'm taking another piece of paper. Right here. Putting it down. And I'm gently rubbing. That's all I'm doing. Running my fingers lightly over the paper to pick up the pattern. And then peeling it off. So here it is here. Oh, that's really pretty. So you can see it. Okay. On this side, I have these stand, these envelopes. I got these at the dollar store. I got them at Dollar Rama. They were a dollar fifty, and there's thirty five in there. And I'm just gonna take one out and do the printing on one of these over here. So, just like that. Anything I can use in the junk journals, I'm just going to put some paint on and put some patterns. So there's the envelope. I'm going to take my runoff paper and I'm just going to pick up what I left behind. Okay, so we're going to pick some new colors again. Summer colors, let's do green and pink. This is a different pink, not as bright. I haven't done much jelly plating. This is only like I think my second time using it. Because I felt a little intimidated by it, but then I was like, I just want pretty paper. So that's why I decided to dig it back out and do my own thing. That's the thing with crafting. There's no real right or wrong. 
You just do your thing. Try to stay with the color wheel so you don't make mud. Oops. The green and pink will make the purple if they mix together, so I'm fine with that. Perfect. So, I'm going to try to use one of my stencils, which I've never done before, so I'm just going to lay the stencil down on this side here. I'm going to roll it. Maybe I shouldn't, but I'm not sure. We'll try. All learning experience. I'm going to grab a piece of paper. Let's do this one first. See what we get. Okay, let's pull it off and see if we got a pattern, which we did. That's really pretty. So we'll let that dry. We're going to take this off. I have a bucket beside me that I'm going to be putting the stencils in, but there is plenty of paint on here. So all I'm going to do is lay this stencil on paper just like that. And I'm going to let that sit over here for just a second. Okay, so we're getting a new piece of paper. We're going to lay it down. We're going to rub. There we go. And now I'm going to pull it up. Ooh, that's really pretty. So that's how this one looks. Really pretty. And since that's cleaned off, I'm just going to slide this back over the jelly plate and give it a quick rub down and then lift it. Just because I wanted to get the rest off, I'm going to drop that into my bucket, which is over there. And we are going to do some quick little stamps on this side. Whoops. Now we have a circle stamp. Perfect. There we go. And then I'm going to grab myself another envelope. I'm going to use the stamp here, take off the excess, and then I'm going to lay it down, just like that. And I'm okay with getting it on the back and not perfect, because it's going to be in my junk journals anyway, so it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm also going to cut them up and stuff. Okay, so that's the envelope done. Set that over to dry. I'm going to bring back my pickup sheet and just lay it down and pick up whatever's left. And I'm going to run the white again now and see what else is on the, the jelly plate. We can pull it up and start over. So that's all I'm doing. So just picking that up. I also have some recipe cards I'm going to be doing, so I should do that also. Oh, thank you. You like it? Yeah, it's pretty. I like that color. Doesn't take long. Okay, so I have the white again. I'm going to try a thin layer of white. One of my subscribers told me to do this and it seems to be working, so I'm going to try it again 
just to clean up the jelly plate. this on my runoff paper and now we are going to get a piece of music paper and I'm going to lay it down just like that just cleaning it up so and you're getting color on your paper so it's perfect because when I do die cuts out of this paper or put it directly into the book I can make pockets I could do all kinds of things so it won't necessarily all be in one piece there okay so that's perfect so I'm going to set that off to dry, and I'm looking for over here. Here we go. I have some recipe cards that I also want to use because I'm going to be doing die cuts out of them and such, and I want to put some color on those. So let's get some yellow. This is pretty neon yellow this one is and all of this paint well most of it is from Dollar Tree or Dollarama very few paint I paid a lot of money for the metallics they came from Michaels <clears throat> sorry from Michaels but okay so that's neon yellow we're gonna do uh, the neon pink with the yellow we want it to be bright, summery. And of course the pink and the yellow mixed together makes orange and I'm okay with that. A lot of it is the color wheel, if you can remember it, but I'm sure I can forget and make mud just like everyone else. All right, just cleaned off my brayer. And let's see what we have for a stamp. Okay, so we're going to use this big stamp here. It has hearts and hugs and kisses. And I'm just going to push down and put some stamping on it. So there's that. I'm just using a wipe to clean it off so it's not so hard to clean later. Okay, so that's clean. And do we have another one? Let's see what we have. I have the little flowers still, so I'm going to drop in some flowers. Here and there, all over. I did some circles. <laughs> now we'll put the flower back on, do some more flowers. Okay, so these came from the dollar store and they do not stick very well on, but that's okay. It's just ink I mean paint so no big deal okay so let's take some cards and lay them down so I have one two 
two, three, four, and then this one we'll do in half. Okay. So just rubbing. And let's pull it up and see. So here's this one. It's got some hearts and stuff. So you can outline these once they're dry. You could do so much with them. So there's that one. Has some hearts and hugs and kisses. I'm just pulling them off and setting them to the side so they can dry. I'm going to turn this around and put it down here again. There we go. Okay. So now... We'll do metallic gold. Onto the plate. Gold and what color should we do? Let's do white, golden white. And then we'll add a third color in a second. Gold, white. Let's try a different yellow. Maybe this is sunny yellow. So let's try this the sunny yellow and not so bright yellow. Okay. We're doing three colors. I'm going to use my runoff paper over here. Okay, we'll do purple next time, Jess. We'll do purple next time. Let's find another stencil. And I have one with butterflies on it. So we can lay that down here. And then I have some bubble wrap, just some bubble wrap. And I'm just going to put some bubble wraps down on here. Just to make some marks on this side. I'm going to stick that in the bucket. Okay, so now we need an envelope. No, we're going to do recipe cards. Let's see. Yeah, they'll fit. So we're going to put one. Two. And three. There's the recipe cards. We need a piece of paper. Let's see. Let's do, we need a solid white. Let's see. Here's one. 
I have a cover. I'm not going to do the cover. Put this down. Oops. Hold it. Let's see. So it has a couple butterflies there. We're going to peel this off. I have paper here. I'm going to have paper. We're going to lay this paper down. And see what we got. That's really summery and pretty. Okay, so we got this one. It's really summery and pretty. And now we're going to peel up the cards. Oh, it's all about texture. We just want them to look different and put some color on them. So we're going to let those dry. I'm going to put a thin layer of white again and pick up all of this yumminess that's down there. My hands are really, really painty. Okay, and now I'm going to run this off on my run paper. I'm going to put this into my bucket. Grab a new piece of paper. Let's try music paper. One. And then I have some book pages. So I'm going to put one here. Okay, so let's pull this up. And this is what it looks like. That's really pretty. Lots of different colors on there, pinks and blues and purple, greens. So that's pretty. We're going to pull this book page up. We're going to put more on just to clean it up. Just like that. I'm going to flip it and do it again. There. So that's what that looks like. Okay, so we're going to pick new colors now. We're going to do champagne pearl, which is kind of like gold, really. And it's metallic. Okay, we're going to do orange. This is pumpkin orange. Very pretty. And we're going to do uh, taupe. So let's do a little bit of taupe. And let's see what we get.
Okay. I'm going to take one of these cards and I'm going to do the runoff on it. Let that dry. And we are going to do some more stamping. Let's see. We have this heart. So let's just stamp. Stamping. Wipe it off. This is just random shapes. I'm just going to put it down just to, again, make just texture. Okay. Going to clean it off. We're going to put these guys down. This one. Let's do this way. Two. And three. We'll peel it up. Ooh, that's really pretty. So it looks like this. We're going to let that one dry. Like this. And the last one. It's very glittery. I love that. We're going to take a new piece of music paper that I have here. And I'm just going to lay it down and pick up what's left. I'm going to move it over and do the same thing again. Same thing again. Just move it over. And this is how it looks now. That's great. I love this because by the time you cut out your little pieces, it gives it lots of color. It's perfect. Okay. So I have this yellow here. Vivid yellow, it says. So let's do this one. I'm going to shake it up. So let's do this yellow. And we're going to do the purple. So I have a purple here. Let's see how much is left in this purple. There's enough. Good. We're going to do yellow and purple. Thank you. Thank you, Mommy. How's Dibbo? My mom is looking after my dog tonight because I'm jelly plating and I didn't want him to get all painted himself. So he's with his grandma tonight. I hope he's being a good boy. All right, I'm running this off again. Now we have this. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, so I have this stencil here. I'm just going to lay it down and lift, lay it down and lift. So I'm just going to run this over it, then lift it and move it. 
and it has flowers on it. So lift. 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 I'm going to place this on a clean paper over here and just smoosh it down. That's my technical word. Smoosh it down. And smoosh it down. And now I'm going to throw that in the bucket. I'm just trying to reach the bucket there just to tuck them down in the water. So one second. There we go. They're down in. Because I really don't want them to be so hard to clean. Okay. So now we have those. Let's take a piece of white paper and lay it down. Just like that. Now, I will go back over these and do the back, and then I'll do an update video and let you guys see the other sides also. But I thought it would be easier to go live and do this because a video would take, doing it on a recorded video would take too long. So that's what this one looks like, really, really pretty. Let that dry. I'm going to get an envelope. Lay it down. Okay. And so there it is there. It's got the the flowers in there and the vines. It's really pretty. It's got it picked up some of the orange. It picked up some of the red and pink in there. So that's perfect. And now I'm going to do a thin layer of white again. I'm not sure how long I've been on. I think almost an hour. Time flies by. Okay, so we're going to do our thin layer of white. Oops. I'm getting too many paper and too many paints on my table. Knocked them over. Okay, I'm going to put this on my runoff paper. Now, let me see. I should have something I can just put some marks in with. Let me see if I have a pen or something. Hopefully it doesn't dry before then. Hand me even a knife, that, a butter knife that's there. And I'll try the butter knife. I just want to do some swirls. And I'm going to get a drink because I'm thirsty. I'm drinking diet ginger ale. Okay, so I have a butter knife. I'm not going to push hard. It's only just to make marks. So, and I just want to scroll it. Thank you for getting me the knife. Okay. And now we're going to take a piece of paper and pick things up. Oops.
All right, let's see. There we go. And some of the flowers were still on there. Some of the hearts, so I picked those up also. Really, really pretty. I'm going to lay it back down over on this side and pick up more. Just like that. That's really pretty. And I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but it's got some glitter to it from all the metallic paints that I was using. So it's got some marks and it's just really pretty. I love that. Okay, so what else did I dig out to do over here? I want to do a couple of these big, I have these big envelopes. And I want to do a couple of these while I have the jelly plate going. So it's a brand new package. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I got it at Dollarama. There's six of them in there for $1.25. I'm just going to take a couple out and we're going to do a couple of these. Thank you everyone that's come in and watching with me. Thank you everyone that's re-watching it. And please like, comment, and subscribe. And please hit the notification bell so that you know that you're notified every time I do an upload. All right, so let's do, because the envelopes are pretty dark, let's do the neon, oops, the neon yellow. Because my theory is I want to do summer journals because it's summertime. And I really wanted bright colors. So we got the neon yellow. And what other colors should I use? Any suggestions? Jessica, any suggestion? Purple? I have a darker purple. So neon and dark purple. Let's try this one. My niece is learning what I'm doing so she could do it next time. She could play on my jelly plate and see what she makes. Make some pretty pictures. Okay. It's really bright. I love it. The purple is a little dark and it is a little bit thick. So it's not moving as much as the yellow. That's fine. Okay. So I'm going to do a runoff paper. Okay, so now we're going to take the big envelope and we're just going to lay it straight down. And see what we get. Let's see, let's see. There we go. And still flowers and hearts came up. So that's perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put another color down. I have purple and yellow down. So let's try pink and maybe green. Let's, what color are we going to get? And this is metallic pink. Very pretty pink. And we'll do the neon green. Because there's neon yellow on there already. So let's just keep going bright. for this round. Okay, so now I'm just rolling it. I love the mess we're making. Ooh, that's really pretty already. I'm loving how it's looking. 
I'm going to do the roll off thing. Okay, so I have a cork just was sitting beside me. So I'm just going to stamp with the cork all over this direction. And then I'm going to take it sideways and I'm going to do it sideways. All different directions. I'm going to drop that in the bucket. And then I'm going to do a flower. If I can find the flower quickly. I know that I had it. <laughs> Well, we have a stamp here, so they're only from the dollar store, and I don't really worry. I'm not really worried about the inky part. I just wanted the actual stamp itself, and they were really cheap. I think a dollar fifty for ten of them or more. So I'm not sure. It's on my channel on one of my dollar rama hauls. And there was tons of them in there. So I just thought, yeah, that's perfect. So it looks like this. They are self-inked, but I really don't care about the inky part. I'm just cleaning it. And then you can reuse this in different stamps or paint, whatever you want, you know. All right. Let me try a new handle. So I have a new handle. And I have some pineapples here. So I'm going to try the pineapple on there. And put some pineapples on here. And I'm kind of working a little bit quickly because I do not want the paint to dry. And this is really pretty. So I think I'm going to, what I'm going to do is do this on paper so we can see all the designs and stuff. So I have it right here. So I'm going to lay this white paper down and see what we got. And I'm going to also do an envelope. I have the envelopes right here beside me. So I'm also going to lay the envelope down, just like that. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Should be pretty. In summary, ooh, that's really pretty. You can see all the designs in there. We missed a little bit there, but that's okay. You can just try to pick up a little more, but it's really pretty. So you got some purples and greens and pinks. So we're going to set that off to dry and we're going to pick up the envelope. And there is the envelope. And it has lots of pretty colors on there. So now we're going to clean this up. We're going to use white again. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean this off and then I'm going to give you a quick look at some of the pic some of the papers I did and then I'm going to get off and I will do some more jelly plating and then eventually when I get them all dry in the next day or so I will do a quick video and show you the finished products. So, and I'm going to try to go live more often now that I got everything all set up. So, I'm just running this off. And I'm going to take 
one of my music papers. And see what we pull up. Okay, so that's how this one looks. Really light, pretty colors. And then I have a couple of the recipe cards. So I'm just going to take one here, lay it down. Take the second one and lay it up here. Pull it, turn it around and pull it. So it has more pretty colors, more pretty colors. And then I will just keep working on this. So let's just show you some of the pages. They're still drying, but there is some really pretty pages. This one is really light. I'm just grabbing them. Here's this one, this one, an envelope. Here are the orange ones that we did. And here is a recipe card. Again, I'll do the backs probably offline. This one is really pretty. It's got lots of colors. This was a runoff page. It needs a little more color. I'll add to it. There's a recipe cards. Here's uh, another summary one. And then I got some of these over here. So these are all of what we did tonight. Lots and lots of papers with painty papers, which is really good because I need them for junk journaling. I just didn't have any left. So I'm happy that we got them done. There's this one. That's really pretty. Look at all those light colors. There's this one that has the hearts and designs. Blue and gold. So that's everything that I did tonight. Thank you. So I want to say thank you to everyone that's been watching. And please like, comment, and subscribe, like I said. And I will be back shortly to do another live within the next week. And I'm going to be doing some recorded videos. So thank you, everyone. Please don't forget to hit the bell. And next time I'll try to do a live a little earlier. But thank you, everyone. Have a good night and have a wonderful weekend. Have a blessed weekend. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye, guys.